In this video, we will present a model of the carbon atom according to the ring theory. We will show how the radii of atoms and their ionization energy can be determined quite accurately using the ring structure of atomic nuclei and the basic laws and properties of electromagnetic fields with the help of simple mathematics. According to the ring theory, the most important structure for the properties of elements is their nuclei, which determines the position and properties of electrons bound to protons in the nucleus of an atom. The carbon atom nuclear structure model consists of two globules, which are made up of three protons and three neutrons. They are bound to each other via a proton bridge and held by the electromagnetic field force of both protons. Nucleons in an atomic nucleus assembled according to the model of ring theory have their magnetic moment. The rotations of the charges are bound to neighboring nucleons by means of magnetic field components and thus form deterministically and explicitly defined bonds. They are describable at any point in time like a familiar system from an automobile transmission. The planes of these globules are perpendicular to each other. One of the most important elements of the structure of the nucleus model is the distribution and orientation of the magnetic moments of the proton rings in the adjacent globules. In one globule, the magnetic moment vectors of the protons point inwards, and in the other globule, the vectors of magnetic moments of the protons point outwards from the globule. This structure of the nucleus globules affects the orientation of the magnetic moments of the electrons, which are bound to the individual protons of the nucleus. Electrons always have an anti-parallel direction of the vectors of their magnetic moments with respect to the magnetic moment vectors of the control protons. Therefore, each of the bonding electrons have both two p and twos with respect to the nucleus of the atom in the opposite direction of the magnetic moment vector. Such an arrangement of electrons allows carbon atoms to form different kinds of bonds with other atoms. To properly understand bonds, it should be emphasized that the electron has only one type of magnetic moment unlike mathematically defined spins. Its dual form is determined only by its orientation towards the nucleus of the atom. If we move an electron from the upper globule to the lower globule, its properties do not change at all. Only the direction of its magnetic moment vector with respect to the nucleus of the atom changes from the out type to the in type. It always has an anti-parallel direction to the magnetic moment vectors of its controlling protons. In the pictures we can see different views of the schematic representation of the carbon atom models. A carbon atom can bond with another carbon atom through its two p-type electrons with opposite vectors of magnetic moments and one 2s-type electron and their combination. For the purposes of calculating electron radii, bond length, and binding energy, we will use all the equations that we used for the calculations of the hydrogen atom. And similar to the hydrogen atom, for electrons of type 2p, we can calculate the radius of the electron 2p and its distance from the nucleus of the atom according to the equations in the previous image. We can calculate both electric and magnetic energy at the point of equilibrium of forces. The difference of these forces will show us the value of the energy of the bond of the electron 2p to the proton. This calculated value is consistent with the experimentally determined value. We can do the same calculations for a 2s type electron. We can determine its radius, bond length, and binding energy. From the calculated values, we can see that the type 2s electron is located closer to the nucleus of the atom and has more binding energy than the type 2p electron. Again, the calculated value corresponds to the experimentally measured value of the bond. Based on the values enumerated above, we can visualize a model of the carbon C atom in the ground isolated state. Because the 2p and 2's electrons have different distances, sizes and energies, they do not form a regular trigonal pyramid structure in the model. Only after the excitation of the 2's electron to the 2p electron does the structure of the atom become regular tetrahedral with respect to the remaining 2's electron. Such a structure is typical of the methane molecule. If we rip off electrons from the carbon atom, the ionization energy of the remaining electrons changes because more of the electromagnetic energy of the nucleus remains on the remaining electrons. By quantifying the electric and magnetic force and energy according to the ring theory, we can calculate these sequential ionization energies. 
The energy does not increase linearly or exponentially but in leaps and bounds because the electrons of 2s and 2p have different characteristics. After the 2p2 electron is torn off, a carbon atom ion C plus is formed. However, its 2p1 electron is already affected by the released energy of the nucleus after the 2p2 electron, which will be reflected in the change in the radius of the electron and its distance from the nucleus of the atom. After quantifying both its electric and magnetic energies, we can determine the difference, which represents the binding energy of the electron 2p1 of the C plus atom. This quantified value is consistent with the experimentally measured value. If we also remove the 2p1 electron from the ion of the C plus atom, we get a C plus plus carbon atom ion with two 2s electrons. The absence of two electrons of 2p will affect the magnitude of the radii and the distance of the remaining electrons of 2s. According to the known relations, we can quantify the value of the radius of the electron 2s 2 and the distance of the equilibrium position between the proton and the electron. After quantifying both its electric and magnetic energies, we can determine the difference, which represents the binding energy of the electron 2s 2 of the C++ atom. This quantified value is consistent with the experimentally measured value. After the three electrons are torn off from the electron shell, the last electron remains 2s 1 and an ion of the carbon atom C++ is formed. Even though this electron is affected by the force of attraction of the electric field of four protons, the repulsive force of the magnetic fields of protons and neutrons can keep the electron 2s 1 at an appropriate distance from the nucleus of the ion. However, considerable energy is required for this, which we will quantify in the following section. According to the known relations, we can quantify the value of the radius of the electron 2s 1 and the distance of the equilibrium position between the proton and the electron. After quantifying both its electric and magnetic energies, we can determine the difference which represents the binding energy of the electron 2s 1 of the C++ atom. This calculated value is very close to the experimentally measured value. The table summarizes the results of the enumerated values of electron radii, currents and distances of electrons from their protons during the gradual removal of electrons from the electron shell of a carbon atom. However, these values cannot be compared to any experiment. Nevertheless, they allow us to quantify Using basic electromagnetic laws and simple mathematics, the ionization energy of individual electrons as they are gradually removed. From the table, we can compare the agreement or difference between the calculation according to the model of the carbon atom according to the ring theory and the experiment. From the values given, we can see that the match is very good. More detailed information and calculations can be found on the website of www.ringtheory.eu. Thank you for your attention and open mind.